Hey folks, welcome back. We're on turn 157 as the Hawaiians, and this is the same turn that I left off in the last episode. And that's because I realized that I missed a couple things that I could do, so we're going to take care of those before the end of the turn here. However, just to quickly recap, we are currently at war with, well, pretty much everyone except for this one city right here, the Ghanaians, and Brown here, that is my vassal. Apparently, um, I'm at war with the Caribbean pirates as well. The black player here has vassalized everyone on their continent, so it's kind of me against the world at, at the moment. And I recently occupied Kural, or Carol. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce this. It's um, one of the um, cities that I just don't know the pronunciation of. And then Harappa over here and with the, the black player. And they have quite a few armies kind of wandering around. They're a little bit lower in tech than me, but these musketeers could still be dangerous and I'm worried they'll have some more. So we'll have to figure out what I'm doing there. However, I noticed a couple things that I can do from last turn. So first, I can make this attack here. They'll retreat. Won't be able to quite catch them, but that'll decrease their war support a bit. I also noticed that this player up here is trying to pillage my stuff. I'm going to send these Koa Warriors up in that direction, and I don't think I'll get there in time to stop that pillage, but hopefully at least get a new outpost down there once it becomes available. So... I'm going to take a quick look at my cities here because there are some places I can buy things out if I feel like it's a good investment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the sawmill there and in Kawuka. These are two of my main cities here, so the earlier I have that, the better. I could also consider getting a conveyor belt, which would increase some of my outputs. However, I'm thinking I'm only going to do that in cities where there is actually coal. I'd prefer to use my um, my industry on other things at this point, I think. And the reason I only want to do it in cities where there's coal is because it increases the number of accesses to coal you get, which uh, will allow me to produce other units more efficiently. Okay, let's go ahead and end the turn here. And on we go, on to the next turn. Okay, so I got my first, or my last, rather, agrarian star. Whoa, went down a little bit. I'm doing quite well in terms of era stars. I only need another 18k money, which isn't that bad. I only need, you know, five more districts. The Diplo stars have definitely been a little harder, and they're just kind of difficult to get in general, really. But nothing I can really do about that other than keep my envoys running around. I don't really have any grievances to forgive at the moment. Especially considering that I'm at war with everyone. All right, let's attack these guys. Hoping I can force yellow to surrender. Go ahead and knock these knights out first so they don't go and attack my mortar. Actually, bring these guys in. Don't know where their last musketeer is. I'm okay if they bring their navy in. That looks like they're on the retreat, so they won't be able to anyway. Go knock those musketeers out. Easy peasy. So war support continues to decline. I'm going to send these guys up here. And over on this side of the world. Well, no, no. You need to stay in the city. Thank you. Let's see. Those ha these guys have the retreating condition here, so I be should be able to catch them. Force them into a fight. Or not. Let's see. Go for quarantine. Minus 30 money on my cities for 10 turns really isn't that big of a deal considering how much money I'm making here. And my, I think I'm going to take a quick look at my production queues. Make sure they're relatively full. This one could maybe add something. Doing okay-ish on food. 
I'm actually gonna pull these guys off onto industry. And yeah, I'm going to need more food in this city, I think. So I'm gonna add those because I want to make sure I have enough food to support the scientists that I'll be adding through the additional research quarters there. And over here, this seems fine for now. I'm on balanced policy here. Let's switch that up and go like this. Let's see. Anything else worth getting? Yeah, printing house I'm going to need. Let's slap that in there. And up here, let's see. Don't think there's anything else that's really necessary. Let's go ahead and grab the cabinet of curiosities. That does produce science based on your population, and that is a pretty high population city, so still worthwhile, I think. All right, and I can force the French to surrender. And I could take Kral if I wanted. And I think I do. And hopefully I can just take actually important territories. Okay. Which ones which ones have the resources here? So the the territory down here. Which I could see which res or which territories have resources when I'm doing this. It would make my life a lot easier. That territory, not as important. Um, we want Sheratan, yeah, okay. Don't have enough for anything else, so let's just grab those. We'll immediately come down here. Pillage this. And there's a part of me that feels like we should just... Oh, I can get a salt manufactory. Go ahead and just get that right away. There's a part of me that feels like we should just combine these cities. Because I am pretty over my cap now. Let's go ahead and buy some of this stuff. Let's buy the research quarters, because those will get more expensive once I add some things in. Spy that district. Spy that one. Okay. And we could nab plot irrigation, but don't think that's necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and absorb Corral into the city here. Yep, as kind of as I expected, that's going to tank my stability quite a bit. It's really not that big of a deal. Oh, I don't even have the sawmill in here yet. <laughs> Not that that's a big problem for my industry currently. So I'm going to grab the city watch. And we'll grab the police force. And we'll grab a garrison. Not sure why, why it's suggesting that spot in particular. Um, I go down here somewhere. Honestly, down here by the harbor, I think makes sense. That should take care of that. Um, I'm gonna refuse that. That should take care of the stability in that city. Now over here, since they retreated, see if I can get a decent fight here. There's really no one that seems to be in striking distance of this city, so I'm going to bring this group of units up to support the attack. Yeah, there's really nothing I'm too worried about here. I can apparently prepare trebuchets, not interested in that. I'm just gonna send the knights way in the back. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so the musketeers are kind of in the front here to begin with. They are pretty much the most dangerous units to me, so we'll go ahead and take care of them first to the extent that we can. 
I'm also going to pull in my navy here. We'll attack the uh, emblematic unit there. That's a halberdier replacement. So that'll be higher combat strength than a lot of their other units that they currently possess. Will also let us get into the city. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the Javelin Riders, simply because they can attack me without um, without me being able to retaliate. And obviously that is not ideal for me. What's this group of reinforcements here? I guess they're in the battle already. Okay. In that case, don't need to worry about that. Move these guys up here. Go for the Knights. They do get additional combat bonuses on their charge, so if we can stop them from getting that, that's ideal. And then we'll just knock out one of these Javelin Riders as well. Now, if they really focused their units, they could probably kill a couple of mine. AI is not particularly good at that, and honestly, they'd, they'd have to throw away almost all of their units on a single one of mine. It would be pretty disastrous for them. This, these units are just not up to snuff. Honestly, like their draftees are some of their best units at the moment. I suppose the Jaguar Warriors are fine if we were in the medieval, <laughs> but we're not. Okay. Alright. Oh, I can shoot a lot of these guys. Go ahead and shoot the Jaguar Warriors there. Get you in the city. Knock those guys out. You come forward. You target here. Let's go in. Fire. Let's go in. Let's go in. What do they have left? They have some arquebusiers somewhere, and they have these naval units coming in down here. There they are. Start taking care of these ships. Yeah, I can... Yeah. This ironclad must be um, in direct fire. I didn't realize that, actually. I, I thought they might have been direct fire only. That's good to know. All right, war resolution. No, I'm gonna refuse that, which is gonna give them a little bit of war score back. But I don't really mind. Okay, got them to stop pillaging over there, which is the goal. And over here, this army is just gonna hang tight protect that area. Mm, I can't retreat, apparently. Let's go for manual battle. Maybe they'll do something silly. Something like that. Like attacking me instead of going for their flag. Or for my flag, rather. There we go. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> winning me a little battle there. Now, the AI can be um, a little dumb sometimes. No, I'm not going to accept a white piece. I'm going to make you pay me reparations if I can get those. I'm going to pick up combustion engines so I can start building out oil. And I'm going to grab Encyclopedia, largely for the Academy. I want to build those in, in cities that have research quarters so I can continue advancing my tech relatively efficiently. Okay. Go ahead and take this fight over here. They will retreat from. And then we'll send you back to Harappa just to defend. And their war support is going to collapse at the end of this turn. Hoping I can wrap up all these these wars in one fell swoop here. Go 
Okay, I should be able to win this relatively easily. Don't know why my envoy is deploying here. Have him hide way over here. Then the ironclad kind of there where I can get a bunch of bonuses from adjacent units. Well, these Karax are a little stronger than I would have thought. Mm, they have reinforcements coming in from over there. Not really worried about these transports. I don't think I have any nearby naval units, so I'll just have to make do with what I have here. Okay, very strange behavior here. Okay, I'm going to ignore these guys. And I'm going to attack the bulk of their force over here. Go ahead and zap one of these Karax. Trying to make sure that all my units actually have something they can shoot. We'll destroy one of those transports. Okay. While they do that, let's see what else they have going on. Don't think these guys need to do anything. And come back to my city center here and just play defense. Okay. Okay, they killed my envoy, which, yeah, I mean, annoying, but. Go ahead and have my ironclad take out that Karak there. Yeah, I. So the. You can definitely tell the impact of the naval rework. It does have some effect, but the. It seems to have completely broken the the battle AI when it comes to naval battles. They just don't really know what to do. Kill as many of these units as possible before I make peace with yellow. They're just gonna let me kill them basically. All right, so that is two wars I can end now. Let's see, they still haven't attached that territory up there. Grab this one here, and then we're going to go ahead and come up here and pillage that one. Might as well put down the harbor. Oops, we're good for this, not really. Go ahead and get that police force, yeah. That'll be just fine as far as stability, not that difficult. And we're going to pick up the sawmill as well. Actually, we'll grab that first. It's not like I'm super hardcore struggling on stability in this city. Let's see. Let's go for the science bonus. Uh, I would like to wrap up my tech here as quickly as possible. So we've got Combustion Engine coming up next turn. And can also force these surrenders. Okay, so let's force the surrender here. Anything worth taking from them? I would like this territory here. But I have to Grab that one. Does that have any 
Luxuries, no. Main reason I want this territory is for that coal. So I'm just going to grab those two and then I'll accept uh, some reparations. You guys can come back down this way just to sit around and defend. And over here, let's make our peace with the Swedes. Or not the Swedes, the Swiss, rather. And we are primarily interested in Harappa and its surrounding territories. Grama would be nice, but not as important. Now we could poach some of these other territories that aren't actually in the city. So if we picked up that die, for instance, that would be a nice little boost. Should be in that territory there. That looks good to me. All right. So Harappa. A couple okay positions for these emblematic quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and just buy one. Let's get the coal up. I'm missing a lot of basic infrastructure in here that I'm going to buy. Okay, let's go on expert policy, uh, focus on industry, and then as some money is more efficient, and then science. Plus 30 industry there is quite good. Want a few more industry slots. Then we'll grab those production quarters. Could also think about getting an envoy here. Just so I have one on this side, I did lose one earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that envoy wherever it spawned up here. We'll put it on auto explore so it can go around and pick things up for me. So the French, I'm not really interested in farther conflict with them, so I'm going to go ahead and renounce all those. Over here, I'll just ignore that. They're sitting tight and yellow. Yeah, no crises with them. Bring them over here. So here I have Denikil Desert. Okay, plus three money for salt on Empire. Okay. I mean, I do have some salts. Not sure how much. Where is salt? There. Salt. Mm. So, an okay amount of salt. Or of gold. Not super impactful. They need more food here? Not really. I can pull these guys off food, actually. Don't know why I have that prioritization here. I should have updated that a while ago. Really don't need animal barns. Any factory will be relevant. That's going to provide me some extra worker slots. And then after that, that's the other thing. I do. just built some more market quarters down here. Maybe start expanding down into this area here. Could also consider attaching this territory. Um, this will be useful with the New Zealanders. That being said, at the very least, I can purchase. Oh, I have two oil uh, places here. See, these guys are my vassal, and they are attacking me. Doesn't really make sense, in my opinion. Ugh. Of course they spawned up there. Ugh, whatever. That's very annoying. Get a new one. Put on auto explore. I feel like they shouldn't be able to attack their overlord, maybe? I'm not sure. I guess, like, with stealth units, it, it might be... An exception, right? You could think of it kind of as partisan warfare. I don't know. Just 
a little annoying as well. So we can get extra st combat strength on emblematic units or extra combat strength on militia. I feel like this leads to specific ones. Secret police or neighborhood watch. And people's assembly, secret police. Eh. I'm just going to go for the extra combat strength on militia there. Plus one combat strength on emblematic. Uh, emblematic unit is just not super impactful at this point in the game. You have so many sources of um, potential combat strength that uh, it's not important. All right. So we're cruising along here. Okay, blue is finally dead. Mikane is slowly running out of stuff to build. Get our manufactory here. We do have plenty of food. And grab the stock exchange as well, I think. And then keep adding some of these quarters. Okay. Get Republic Evolution, so plus sensibility on territory or extra science and money on commons quarters. Yeah, neither of those are important. We'll just save that choice for a later date. Add and pillage here. And we have a couple grievances. I'm going to renounce the French one. I'm going to make the demand of the Swiss, though. I'm still interested in bullying the Swiss. And we're just going to position some of these units to attack in the next inevitable war. These guys can stay where they are. These guys are just for safety against the other player. So you want to at least get that scientist star? Looks like we will get two Esthete stars. Um, diplomat stars seem unlikely unless I start getting a lot more grievances against other players all of a sudden. So like these ones. I feel like I should... Yeah, let's demand that. I feel like at this point in the game, um, you should get perhaps more leverage for grievances, or perhaps depending on the type of grievance. just feels like the, the Diplomat stars scale up quite um, in a quite a penalizing manner, it seems. And your ability to keep up with it is rather limited in my experience with it. Let's grab Trench Warfare so we can have Siege Artillery. And is there anywhere else where I have oil? Doesn't seem like it. I know, there's, I feel like there's a way to search, and now I'm forgetting how to do it. I'm just kind of examining the map. Oh, there's a lot of oil up here. Wow, that's so much oil. How much oil do I need for space race stuff? Five? Okay. Yeah, I should have enough with what I have here. I have eight. Yeah, I'll have plenty. Okay, end the turn. Hey, the Dutch have fallen to the French. That's fine. Wonder if they'll trade with me now. They will. Lovely. Oh, and get one more marble here. There we go. That'll increase my outputs a little bit. And you sit tight. You sit tight. You sit tight. Everyone can just hang out. Okay. And over here, 
uh, should be able to get the academy now. And then we shall continue building science quarters. Ah, fine, I'll just build one there just so it stops recommending it. Anything else I'm really interested in? Three worker slots wouldn't be bad. That's not incredible, but I think that should be fine for now. Over here, I have a mix of things. There's a part of me that wants to start putting stuff into research, just because I I would like to end the game pretty quickly once we get to the next era, rather than trying to go for for maximum score like I do sometimes. A little bit of extra money there doesn't hurt. And keep going on research quarters, I think. There we go. All right. I'm going to end the turn. See how we're looking. Two more techs for that scientist star. So I'll need over 100 leverage for diplomat stars. I really don't think I'm going to be getting that. I'm not, not generating enough grievances. Oh, actually that is getting leverage for whoever that player is. I wish my screen would not zoom around to random armies. There we go. Grab that district there, or that territory rather. Could start attaching some of these. They do have some like valuable districts in them. So like right here, there's the Jama Masjids. Attach this one here. We'll feel it out. There's a ton of industry in this city. Get that Loco Coapa before I kind of age out of it. Yeah, that this wonder here, not really worth attaching at this point in the game. Really good, really nice at the start of the game. Those nice little outputs, plus five of a few different ones, but at this point in the game just does not matter at all. All right, and could grab aeronautics maybe, just and I guess wireless telegraphy just to set up for the next era, because I only need two more attacks, right? Yeah. So we'll, we'll get through the era here. Uh, 315 money from that, yes please. And otherwise, I think we can go back to making some market quarters here. We'll hold off on the rest of those until I have some better spots to build them. And let's change the policy here. Get some more research quarters. And the academy would be good too. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. It's a very expensive academy. And we're running out of stuff in this city too. Oh, 500 money. Yes, please. Okay, there's aeronautics. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. I don't think me getting eight food there is actually accurate. Get the sawmill, the aerodrome. Mm, 62 industry from that's not bad, but I'm not sure why it's telling me I'm going to get the food from some of these locations. Doesn't really make sense. Okay, idle, idle. Honestly, yeah, we can go ahead and take this uh, territory out as well. You can idle, you can idle, you can idle. Okay, stability for 10 turns really doesn't matter at all. Looks like there's a crisis. I don't think I care about the outcome of this. 
guess I'll support that player there, since they're a, a vassal. And if they could break three, that means I can get some trade. Go ahead and renounce those. Really hoping I could. Yeah, very unlikely I'll get those Diplo stars. What's this? Okay, French rebels, huh? Okay, can deal with those pretty easily. And down here. I'm 60 money, yeah, that's fine. Just on this infrastructure. We really have a variety of things in here. Don't really need more food. I think I'm all set on that. Do you have slightly better outputs on researchers here? So I'm going to. Oh, cancel that one. I'm going to go ahead and invest in some more research quarters. And over here. Um, so I want the manufactory. Yeah, 470 from that is quite strong. Then start adding in some more of these. Okay, that'll do. All right. So it could go up. I am... Um, I'm gonna grab nationhood as the tech we're researching going into the next era, just so I have those militia units that are armed a little better. And is there a case for more industry here? I don't feel like there is really. Check my stars again. Yeah, I don't really, even if I forgave those, it's only another 10. I don't really see a way to get those, those Diplo stars. So go ahead and make those demands. Thirty industry from the manufactory is not bad, honestly. And let's grab all this science infrastructure. Now it's much more production efficient. Now it's the least production efficient. Okay, battle up here. Go ahead and manual this. This is kind of what I thought would happen. <laughs> Okay, lovely. So we're coming up on 40 minutes here, which is perfect. Uh, not perfect, wish it were slightly shorter. But um, let's do a little preview of the New Zealanders, and then we'll play them in the, the next episode, which will probably be the last one, depending on how quick I can get to the end of the game. So the New, Ze New Zealanders are the, the last culture for the Cultures of Oceania pack, and they are the scientist um, aff affinity, I almost said orientation, but you all would have known what I, what I meant. So their unique trait is plus 20 science on coastal water. So that's that's all this light blue stuff out here. So obviously if you're coastal, you can get a pretty big boost to science just kind of right off the bat from picking them. I, I don't know how much all this is going to add up to, but particularly if you have multiple harbors exploiting stuff already, that science bonus could be quite generous. Now, what's interesting about the New Zealanders is that they have two emblematic quarters. And we saw something kind of similar with the Caribbean Pirates, which aren't part of the Cultures of Oceania pack, even though they were added on the same day, where they have two units. But we have the Sailing Club, uh, which is basically kind of a, a harbor thing, except it gives influence and stability and extra influence and stability per adjacent coastal water. We also have the Polar Base, and the Polar Base interacts with sterile terrain. So that's going to be stuff like we see down here, where there's no outputs. So it gets some extra science on sterile terrain. It also gives influence production for the number of scientists you have, which is interesting. New Zealanders actually get their 
their science bonus kind of right off the bat, and then everything else they get is kind of largely influence based. A little bit of science from the polar base, but polar base has kind of limited applications if you're trying to use it for science because of how few sterile tiles there typically are. And you know, you're usually not going to have cities that are well positioned to take advantage of those. So it is a I do find it a little curious that the contemporary era culture is the one that has two emblematic quarters because the contemporary era emblematic quarters in general are the least impactful because by the time you enter the contemporary era, the game is very, very close to over. The most important part about the contemporary era cultures is the trait, the unit, and then the district, kind of in that order. Um, well, not always true necessarily. Sometimes the district is before the unit. It depends on how warmongery you are and if you're in multiplayer or single player. Um, but the trait is the most important part. And I feel like these, the sailing club and polar base, like you're going to be playing or you're going to end the game before you even have the chance to build both of these quarters typically so it seems a little odd to have it in the contemporary era you just don't have enough time to take advantage of of all those so they, they seem somewhat redundant to me um regardless yeah we'll we'll get the chance to play them the the trait i think is going to be be the key lots and lots and lots of places to generate science and speaking of we could actually generate a lot of stuff up here i'm going to go ahead and buy that harbor really quick before we end end here because that's all going to start generating science for me in the not so distant future and you can see with the uh, rapa nui trait as well i'm getting a lot of industry from these tiles too anyway um thanks for tuning in and in the next one we'll dive into the new zealanders and hopefully that'll be the last episode for the series see you then